Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.20. Saintly kings, such as Janaka, attain supreme perfection by performing their prescribed duties. Therefore, from the perspective of setting an ideal for people in general, it is appropriate for you also to perform your prescribed duty. Sar Ardavarshini This verse, beginning with Karmanaiva, evidences the importance of proper conduct. Sadachara. Sri Bhagavan says, Even if you consider yourself to be qualified to follow the path of jnana for the pursuit of instructing the people in general, you should still perform your prescribed duties. It is for this reason that Sri Krishna says Loka Sangraham, the people in general. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti To instruct the general populace, the topmost class of persons should perform their prescribed duties. There are many instances in Srimad Bhagavatam that support this statement of the Gita. Atra Brahmanam hi Bhavan Parameshti Yatatma Buhu Apare Janu Tishtanti Purvesham Purva Yahihi Kritam Srimad Bhagavatam 2.8.25 O Shukadev Goswami, you are as good as Lord Brahma, who took birth directly from the Supreme Self, Lord Narayana. You directly follow the precepts established by the previous authorities in the signs of devotional service, while others follow custom only, or the precepts of previous philosophical speculators. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.16.23 O Lord, you are the guardian of the most exalted of the twice-born. If not for your protection, your offering them worship and gentle words, the general populace would undoubtedly reject the path to their own auspiciousness. Your behavior is the evidence of proper action. Yat yat ajarati shreyan itaras tat tat ihati sayat brahmanam kurute lokas tat anubartate Srimad Bhagavatam 6.2.4 People in general emulate exalted leaders of society and copy their conduct, seeing the leader's behavior as authoritative. Srimad Bhagavatam 5.4.14 Being an incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Rijabadeva was fully independent because his form was spiritual, eternal and full of transcendental bliss. He eternally had nothing to do with the four principles of material misery, birth, death, old age and disease. Nor was he materially attached. He was always equipoised and he saw everyone on the same level. He was unhappy to see others unhappy and he was the well-wisher of all living entities. Although He was a perfect personality, the Supreme Lord and controller of all. He nonetheless acted as if he were an ordinary conditioned soul. Therefore, he strictly followed the principles of Varn Ashram Dharma and acted accordingly. In due course of time, the principles of Varn Ashram Dharma had become neglected. Therefore, Through his personal characteristics and behavior, he taught the ignorant public how to perform duties within the Varn Ashram Dharma. In this way, he regulated the general populace in household life, enabling them to develop religion and economic well-being, to attain reputations, sons and daughters, material pleasure and finally eternal life. 
By this instructions, he showed how people could remain householders and at the same time become perfectly by following the principles of Varun Ashram Dharma. Srila Sridaswami comments that Sri Bhagavan instructs Arjuna to engage people in their respective prescribed duties and to restrain them from their tendency to follow a degraded path. It is necessary for you to execute your prescribed duty, karma. <laughs> 